Hello and welcome back to the last round of tonight on this Thursday night modern at GameSpot Mason, Ohio. Uh, my co-caster is currently using the Oh, he's back, darn. Adam's back, boys. 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 Uh, we got Marty Pyromancer, I'm pretty sure. I think uh, that's what Kurt is on. Lantern control. Again, um, I think this is going to be a similar list as last time. Uh, Scott has, I think he recently picked up Lantern. Like, he's been playing it now. No, my bad, Adam. Dick. And I think Curse on Marty Pyromancer, I could be wrong. We had Flannan on round one, do guy Ben, one, two, three. It could be sarcasm. I, I He wasn't here earlier. He might have been. He might have been a lurker. No, nah, he seems like a commenter. Like, he seems, like, very into All lantern, shit. all the time. Um, I actually don't, so, I actually don't know the answer to that question. I'm not experienced enough with either of the decks to give an accurate, um, information, but I would have to assume. I think Marty is favored. You know, he's saying Lantern or Storm. Oh, Lantern versus Storm? Game storm. One. Um. Lantern has, like, one out to Storm game one. I mean, they have Witchbane Orb. Yeah, that's a... Like they're not attacking you to kill you. Yeah, like I mean they can go on the Like I say it's very it's like I wanna say like sixty forty in Storm's favor game one. What do you say that's about right? Yeah, this is Mario Pyromancer boys. I think, I, think it, I think it's more I think game one is gonna be in favor of Storm for most Wait, matchups. Goblin Round Master isn't Mario Pyromancer. I don't know. This is Mardu Pile. Mardu Pile. See cards that have text on it. It's a pile. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a pile of cards, boys. Try to see if it's a trap. I like the Flutter Strand in the Marty deck. Yeah. The Storm Player Lantern. As a Storm Player, la game one. Game take, one or like Lantern games two over and Storm? Three. Like, we're talking about game ones. Like, I as I've mentioned previously, I don't know, honestly. I would still take Storm in the dark. Like,. I mean, like, uh, Scott has hand, like, Lantern has hand attack. Like, huh, why? Like, no, I really don't know why. Like, can you explain why you think, uh, St uh, Lantern is favored to game one? Because I really don't know. So, we're probably going to... I can't tell if that's a forest or a swap. I know it's a swap, but <laughs> this, this is why I do not like the new Battle Lands. Uh, battle for Zendikar Lands. How do you feel about the 96 Arena Lands? Why would I care? I'm just curious. How do you feel about revised white borderlands? They're fine. I mean, people do what they want. Uh, when we get it's Theron Bridge. <laughs> I mean, I take the lantern because he literally can't cast. He literally can't play any other any other land in his hand. So. Those are two glimmer voids. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. Oh, we made the right choice. All right, good. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Oh yeah, glimmer void. Yeah. It's okay, dude. Can <laughs> be ruins. Perfect. All according to gate plan. But oh, there's oh Scott Kurt has multiple hand attacks. <laughs> Do you like but these glimmer voids? Clock. <laughs> Magic is a skill game. You can't thought seize the top of the deck now, can you, Adam? That is that is, that is an accurate statement. It's mostly because of the control they have over our draws. Okay, like sure. Uh, okay, that's fair. And like with all the hand attack, I can see that. Yeah, I'm with Jake there for the ability to win through past and flames in game one. I mean, after board they get they get more. Wait. Pfft. Yeah, I don't think that's a fetchable answer. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, after board, I assume they have ways to attack the graveyard. And, and like, I don't know if you play another witch ban or, but. Yeah, I mean, I think they have graphic. I mean, also like Lander has main deck graphics of cage sometimes. Sure. I don't know. Like, I don't know the matchup enough personally to actually give it. But a fair but you can just play you can play draw go like they can't lock you out of getting everything. I like I said I don't know. Like 
Because it's it's hard for a creature deck to beat Lantern because you have to attack to win. Yeah. But you don't have to attack to win with, with Storm. Correct. Yeah, you're just setting up. If you had a push, that's probably a dead uh, card. So you can uh, cast a Goblin Ma Ma Robo Massel in the... Uh, the token can attack. Or you can just play Lightning Souls and flashback Lightning Souls next turn. Uh, I don't like that line. Why? It's more power. Um. Uh, because Linger Souls can't put a damage on Scott this turn. I don't think the w well the one damage might matter, but he's also going to empty his hand. I don't think there's a card in his deck that he can't cast next turn. I think Witch Banner is what four. Yeah, and he has a Glimmer Void in hand. Yeah, War is a very good addition to the deck. I don't know. I, I, I'm sure I'm sure you're probably right. It just being that I've played neither deck, and you're asking people that haven't played either deck. Yeah, like <laughs> if you if you ask the elves question or like boom elves, give me oh I'll be all over that. Main um, deck cage. It's just I, I I feel like they could just play draw go draw go draw go draw go draw go until the absolute turn that they have to go off. Yeah. Oh glad I'm glad he didn't play it in his second main phase. Uh, I I like Ford. Uh, I like I I do like four pieces of puzzles in the storm board. Uh, I think that's a good card that uh, lets you get cards from all the graveyard hate. Piece of the puzzle is a very powerful card. It is. Um, I know there's there's another card. Oh, I like this play by Scott here. Nice. Catamaran is the top. Empty my hand. Top card. Reveal. That's not a call against command. Reveal. Like, I think this. right now the only card Scott cares about from Kurt, if he has it, is it's against command. Is Liliana of the Veil. I I don't see I don't think they would have that. Uh, some lists do play some main. Really, I would mm -hmm. care about yeah. Colgan's command would be the. Uh, oh yeah, Colgan's command and like Lily on the veil. Yeah. Hey, uh, Scott, Kurt top needs card needs to reveal the top card of his deck. Top card, Kurt. Scott has beautifully feminine hands. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure Scott appreciates that. Caleb sure got you in a storm. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, so I have all, all the pieces. That's all he plays. I have all, I have all the pieces for storm. I'd, uh, uh, I actually just haven't built it yet. I don't know. Uh, you know, did you like playing Solitaire? If that's your kind of thing. You seem to like you want to play with some more interactive magic. Although Mod is not particularly interactive. We got a nice long chat about this on Facebook today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I read it. Um, Jake says just build it. I mean, inherently there are tears in any sort of game. Yeah. So that is a not an accurate statement. Well, you can keep that fatal push. Uh, you can't. Okay, you can push it. Yeah. Okay, you I, can I like. You target it. Yeah, you can target yeah. it. But how are his nails? I'm not sure. Uh, hey. I'm sure. If, I'm sure if Jake really wanted to know, you could. You could ask Jake. You can hey. target it. That's how the card yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. You can target it. It's 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 like. It's weird. Yeah, you can target. You can target. It's like, it's you can target any creature. It's just yeah, not going to destroy. target creature if its CMC is two or less. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is. That was a moto feature when it first came out. Uh, people messing up with. With uh, fatal push. How so? Uh, forgetting that they need revolt, to kill a CMC four or less. I mean, that's on the card. That's their fault. It's just normally, normally how cards are templated, you wouldn't be able to target something then. I know, but the way that card is, you can. Like, like it, you can target a phantasmal image, copy into massive waves with it, and it dies. Metal Mage naming ad nauseum game one. That that's not Storm though. No, a uh, Metal Mage name in Pass and Flames is game. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I would just I, name Grape Shot. Yeah, th yeah, that's what I <laughs> you meant. You saw that in the shot. open. You saw the open. You saw the turn two scoop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have this Metal Mage. I'm going to name Grape Shot. Grape Shot. Uh, Ice scoop. Um. <laughs> I mean, do, don't, doesn't like Caleb didn't Caleb implement an out to that now? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think he. Did. I could be wrong. Top card. You can keep that one, friend. Unstantiate. Okay. Unstantiate is kind of cool because um, you can unstantiate a uh, supreme verdict when you're on the um, so, uh, empty the warrens plan. You can. It's so like cards like that are very strange. It's like spell quellers strange. Um, I cast a spell with Cavern of Souls. It's uncountable. Yeah. But Spell Queller exiles the spell. Ooh, that's a good one. He'll keep that one. Yeah, we got it. 
fatal, fatal push again. And this is fine. This is what he has to do because he has to hope that he draws a way to kill the bridge. Like right now. Um, but I just. Yeah, this isn't a lot. As soon as he gets a man, as soon as he gets a mana top rock. Top card. Top card, Kurt. Just put a die on top of his deck. And Jake, top card. Top card. When he sits back down. <laughs> nice. And top card, Jake. He run one of the main. Yeah. Yeah, Storm is a very, 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 very powerful deck. In the hands yeah, of a like, good pilot, you can win out of basically nowhere. It is um, so slightly like right frustrating now, against playing against Storm. Like right now, like um, the reason why this is a fine place. So he, he's going to get Codex Shredder here. Yeah. I then, probably or like if he's a he's a yeah Codex Shredder probably. Codex Shredder play Codex Shredder. Yeah. yeah this um, game. This now game is, this is getting to the point where it's like harder now because now um, Kurt needs like double outer like yeah you know, this game outer. is basically over. Because he has a Pixis, he just hasn't been using it. Yeah. All right. Like, he exile, <laughs> exile your faith this looting. Yeah, he ha he has to be caring about the cards Kurt's been drawing because none yeah. have done nothing. So he's got a Pixis this turn. Oh yeah, like he's going to start actually milling him out. Plays Marta Control Deco, calls it Mar Don't. Spikes tournaments never heard from again. Who are we talking about? Mar Don't. Uh, probably you. Activate your Pixis. Pixis, there you go. Face down. Oh, no, he has been doing it. That's another Lantern. That's pretty good. Oh, but we don't want it. We just want a mill rock. No upkeep mill. You just play it. Yep. That's pretty good. Yep. I mean... Th that bobble's never going to do anything at this point either. No, it doesn't need to. Yeah. I mean... So, no, what he could actually do... I'm not going to I'm not gonna do anything this turn if I'm him. Academy Ruse is um, two and a blue, right? To I, believe, I believe so. So what he could do, he could bobble, uh, put a lantern on top. Uh, so he would draw a lantern Codex Shredder, and then cast both of those because he has Mox Opal. Like, I'm just saying he could do that if sure. he wants more control. Yeah. And actually have this bobble to be looted, kind of? I don't know. But, like, right now this game's over and Kurt just has not accepted it yet. Yeah. He, he should scoop. This game's yeah, over. Um, like, putting, long, putting Lantern on cameras is awkward. No, yeah, this is great. Yeah. You should just scoop when they get through a mill rocks, right? That, that is correct. I, I would probably scoop when I got to the second. I mean, yeah, this is three. Yeah, this is three on top. He cannot – He there's no way he can kill him. He's going to he's going to give him this fetch land, and he doesn't have the ability to save – like so, what a smart land player would so. I would just give him the land. I would wait till I have another one. But I would, no, it like, doesn't matter. What little what Scott can just do now? He he can just like I don't care anymore and just just have him start drawing cards. Abrupt decay is fine. Like, yeah, that doesn't like matter. he won't ever draw Colin's commandment. Yeah, that that's gotta be his only man deck answer to bridge. Like, yeah, like might, yeah, there's no chance he have like a wear tear or anything like that. I mean, so right now the two cards uh, Scott carries from Kurt is Leon the Veil and K Command. Reveal the top card of your deck again. All right, mill that card. <laughs> yeah, like. Oh uh, no, Pixis that card. Yeah, Pixis. This game. This at this game's point, over. at this point, you should really scoop unless you're playing for like actual something. Oh wait, what? Um. He might have milled it earlier. Yeah, you can. You keep. can. He has no cards in his hand though, right? Yeah. This is literally just draw two, <laughs> discard two. <laughs> draw two. Top card. I'll say you can't. Oh, he had a land in hand. Hey, top card, Kurt. Top card again. <laughs> top card. Like, yeah, Scott could have been a lot more careful about Pixis and the Faceless Ludens, but that's about it. Or maybe Scott, I don't know. If this is you at your little local store, the, you should probably scoop here. If this is a Grand Prix, uh, I would just play it. Maybe. So no, if I if I was actually Scott here and he's not scooping, I just actually want to mill him and make this game go even longer. Uh, we'll fight everybody. Well, uh, he, now he's a second bridge and a war. Like he's just he can just war for. Oh, like, he, he can't no, get he, that he off that. Turns. Yeah. So all right, now I have two bridges. Now the game is effectively done. 
Because he only has four bolts, and he's at 19. Yeah. Why are we still playing? I don't know. How was your day, Adam? That's a day. I could be playing Monster Hunter right now. And how, how are you liking that game? I think it's fantastic, but my friends are much higher levels than me, so I can't go on their quests, and I haven't had enough time to just grind. Yeah, and that's fair. Like, so, like, Lantern has his game. Like, he could actually, so in theory, the Lantern player here, he could just, like, make this game go on forever. Like, game one to go on for a long time. And just, no, like, you should just go into autopilot mode. Oh, he has a Hazret. Okay, mill you, mill you, mill you, mill you, mill me. Wait, who has a Hazret? Oh, did he get Pixist? Did I miss it? Yeah. Hey, would you have Monster Hunter on PC or what? Uh, X, uh, no. Him on, no, I don't have it on PC. I have it on PlayStation. Again, friends at home. Yeah, PC Master Race. No. No. I mean, I also Jake, play with my, my, my older brother. Jake Valentine is also the guy that wants to play um, Why we still GTA playing? 5. Are we scooping our deck up? No, we're. <laughs> Catherine Linger and Souls Boys. We're wasting more time. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That he has three mill rocks. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Only consoles. Yeah, see, I just I have work computer, but uh, still on Rainbow Siege on PS4. Oh, we we're not scooping. Oh, okay. All right, world, all right, world for okay. Now you just world for which Bay Orb, right? Now this game's over more. Pithony Liliana. Oh, he's just I just get another mill rock. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt wants him to win. Yeah, there you go. He will one oh one oh when they're out. Yeah, I'll just leave by then. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like Scott can just not mill him and make this game go on forever. Yeah, this is not in this is okay, now he now he gives up. The fifth mill rock did it. <laughs> um the <laughs> Uh hey, Zidane, uh you might want to check the color. Set is on your PC because the Lantern control player has brown hair. <laughs> no, no, he said he figured he would have red hair. Oh. So one of our friends just had a had a had a baby. Yep. Lopi Lopi had a baby, mm -hmm. and. uh Apparently he's in a hospital in Cleveland, and he has bad signaling for Diet Coke <laughs> because they only have Pepsi at the hospital. Good man, he's staying. He's staying there. Shattered experience, one hell of a card. Yep. This is why Lantern's very, a very, very good deck in the hands of a good player, though. I, yeah. I'm not sure. Scott seems proficient enough with it. Yeah, it's like. But you can. Just beat these hay cards. Like, for for Kurt to win this game, he needed like turn one Thoughtseize into turn two Threat, and do turn three like Thoughtseize Threat or something. Like he has to he has to put pressure before Lantern can empty its hand. Yeah. If he can't do that, then he he can't win because you can't you can't rely on the top of your deck. I mean, you could get lucky and say, okay, well he has one bridge and no way to save it, and I just happen to top deck Shattering Spear, whatever. You know that that does happen, but. More often than not, the, the Lantern player can control this game. It's like, so, with a Lantern and, like, two, three mill rocks, like, if he doesn't care about a card, he's going to let you have it. Yeah, I beat Lantern because they didn't draw a bridge once a few times. That feels good. Oh, yeah, I love it when they don't when they don't draw a bridge. Yeah. Or like land in a stony silence against them. That's all. That's always. That always feels good. Yeah, but they could still win. <laughs> How? Because they play abrupt decay. Well, they gotta see. They can't tutor for that like they can all the artifacts. Yeah. That was a lot harder to find than a bridge. Less copies. I had Morgan, so I get a spree. I would just look for a thought. I'd look for any sort of interaction and creature. I like that. Because Lantern also plays Thoughtseize and Inquisition. 
I'd mulligan to return one Narn Renegade. Perfect. That's, it. That's your spirit animal. It is. Yeah. Mine's a Snorlax. Yeah. I have a Snorlax on my car. Do you? Yeah. I'm on your car. Sick. Like, uh, I like a little, like, stuffed Snorlax on, like, my dashboard. Nice. When yeah, I grow yeah. up, I want to be Snorlax. Aren't you already? Can I be? That's so sick. I mean, you look like him. I don't want to be fortunate, but that'd be very fortunate. Creature in Storm. Wait, what? How do we get Creature in Storm? I mean, there's Brawl and Gobble Electro. Yeah. I think they should just ban Grape Shot, by the way. And unban Preordain and Ponder. Because, <laughs> you know... Have to be the main win con. Because, you know, because Storm's a problem, but we keep we keep banning Fast Man and Cantrips, but Storm is still a problem. Just so ban the cards. We're just going to leave them with the win condition. That's fine. Just leave them with Empty. A lot easier to interact with. Well, it won't be a deck. I mean... No, they could go They could go Empty and then Bushwhacker. <laughs> getcha. <laughs> <laughs> they won't see it coming. No. The storm's pretty not fun. I mean, it, it can go. I know you'd be upset, but I wouldn't be, and that's all that matters. You wouldn't be? No. You'd be happy. You'd be like throwing. You'd be at work and be like, hell yeah. There's a large porcelain penguin named Frank Bucket on the passenger seat of my truck. He's my spirit animal. Why is it porcelain, though? Isn't that kind of risky? Also, does it hold the ashes of something? That'd be impressive. Does it hold the ashes of your fallen comrades? This is a D's hand. From who? Scott. Yeah, like. Lansing Kurt's hand. Yeah, Weldon Jar is actually a very effective card. Like, people don't realize it. It's like, yeah, turn one, he can Welding Jar. Turn Welding Jar, like Inquisition. You turn two, play both Lantern. Yeah. And Grave Shot needs to go empty, it's fine. I'll I'll never ban Grave Shot. So, I think you take the Welding Jar. Grave Shot is so non intuitive, also. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Take the lantern, force in a mill blind. Depends what's in my hand, right? Yeah. You might, yeah, you well, might just take I, the Inquisition. I don't like that choice. I really don't. Well, if I have a card I'm protecting, then I care about the Inquisition. If I don't, then I, oh, then I don't care. All right, double jar. I mean, like the Welland jar made the Culligan's command ineffective. Anyway. If you haul it out, you can, you can, you can put the ashes of a close, a close one or a loved one. All right, so lantern. Milling blind is dangerous. I completely agree. Oh look. <laughs> Golly, nobody can't cast it though. Not yet. Milling hmm. blind is very difficult. Hey, Kurt, top card. That's a game loss. Kurt. Yeah, Kurt might probably should have mulliganed. I don't know. Uh, so hold on the bottom. Hold on the bottom. So it's like a piggy bank. Uh, you can seal that up. I'm just like not happy with how many times I, I'm complaining about Kurt with the top card. Yeah, I mean, this is this is casual REL, but at some point you get a game loss for it. Yeah, like. Also, I don't know what the rule is right now with whose who's, who's job it is. Yeah, like... Because it's Scott's card. Uh, okay. I'll push Siege is nice. Meh. I'll take this lantern. Grafter's cage, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's some, I mean, let's see if, like, Kurt knows the K command His here. opponent is the one to remind him. Yeah, I don't know. So, would they both get warnings? Is anybody a judge in the chat? So, okay, that's your cake. It's a Colgan's command. command that it's not going to do anything right now. I mean, it can make him discard the bridge. <laughs> yeah, destroy the lantern. Discard a card is fine. Both get warnings right. When I was a teenager, me and my friends strongly considered turning into a bong. I mean, that's a good thing. You can, if you can dream it, you can do it, my friend. Yeah. If if you would like to turn your penguin into so a paraphernalia, you Kurt's can, just you can not do it. using the K command to make him get rid of the bridge. <laughs> I mean, okay, that also works. 
See, this was... My problem is we don't have a... We, we don't have a clock here, right? This is yeah. why this this hand from Kurt is not great. There's there's no clock out. So Lantern to mill himself, probably, because we don't want to draw a Spire. I mean, I guess we can no, draw yeah, a Spire. No, yeah, you want to have the... Um, Car um, blah, 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 the bridge is castable. Yeah, cast outpost siege. Name cons. Yep. Uh, uh, what cons is basically it's like Chandra Powermaster, uh, Excellent. zero. Yep. Um, you exile a top card of your library, and you can play it. So like you can play lands off of this. Um, very under good card in my opinion. Um, I have one in my Jun box. Um, I, I think Lantern I think Lantern is going to win because like Kurt does not have a clock at all. Like seeing additional cards doesn't matter, especially because like, um, it's a beginning of the upkeep trigger like that. Like, if Scott does not care about the card, he can just get exiled, and then if he cares about the card after the ability has resolved, he can just mill it. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't have that one. Yeah, yeah, Scott saw the lot. Like, yeah, um, this gives a chance for uh, Kurt to go double runner. Who wants to bet the Lantern's going to win? Uh, yeah, I do. because he doesn't have a win condition. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kurt messed up. He can't. He's not playing this Bedlam Reveler. I would have just popped off the K command, played the Bedlam Reveler. Like, yeah. like, these cards aren't getting any better in your hand. Like, Kurt has the tools to win right now, as bad as that sounds. Kurt turn to control. Yeah, this is not a control deck. Oh. I mean, he might as well just target his. <laughs> well, there, there's nothing to do right now. You get you get the Pyromancer back. You can destroy the Lantern and get a Pyromancer back. Yeah. And cast your Pyromancer. The next turn, you cast Bedlam Reveler. And yeah. So like we need we need a clock here. Yeah. So. If I'm Scott here, I'm just going to draw the land and hold on to it. To discard? Yeah. I, mean, he, I think he's getting K-commanded right now. I don't see why. Why? He tried to destroy the lantern. Right? But he, you you got to get through those wedding jars. Eventually, yeah. And so I, I destroy the lantern. I rebuy my young Pyromancer, and I All play right. my young Pyromancer. All right. And the next turn, I... Better play my hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you, you got to get a... You gotta get a uh, um, I might mill myself here if I'm. It depends what. Kurt's I don't, top I don't card. want that. I don't want that land. It depends what Kurt, like Kurt's top card is. Honestly, yeah, it it depends what the what the priority is, right? Like Marty's a meta call for the modern form with ten percent being death shadow decks, but this just seems miserable. It yeah, is. Yeah, this this is not the best. But again, like yeah. like we talked about, like yeah, I think I uh, need Scott I need a here has to risk. Or you can do the good old draw, use uh, the land as K command bait if he's not going to get K, K command right here. I think he just does it here. Make him discard a land doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Like, th this, this, he's just keeping himself from from establishing a win condition. Yeah, like, Kurt needs a win condition. If if Kurt keeps doing this, he's he, he's taking away any chance he can win, right? Yeah. He needs to, needs to get this Pyromancer back, replay the Pyromancer. Yeah, so now he's doing it. He's going to shock, maybe? No, I wouldn't shock. I would just, you got to go through the, you got to get through the, uh, yeah. Destroy, I mean, so, the, so one artifact. reason you might shock here is because, like, you're thinking, like, well, I'm not going to get through these Weldon Jars. I'm not saying it's a good idea, but like I'm not saying it's an alternate. I, line. I I I don't think I don't think the two damage matters. I don't know. So Scott, mill yourself maybe. Uh, uh, okay. So, see. Did he just not? Oh, he used it last turn. Right? Uh, Alpo siege. That's a miss trigger. Yeah, it's a miss trigger. It's a. I choose to not put it on the stack. Uh, regular audio. I don't know, dude. Yeah, he missed it. Yeah, but they caught it soon enough that. So, what Kurt can do here now with that fetch lane, he can use it to fetch the library top of his library. And make him change it. You know what I mean? Which he does. I would just cast Bedlam or Reveler and see what my opponent does. <sighs> uh. 
like... Just cast Bellum Reveler, then Scott has to make a decision if he's going to let him draw whatever. Yeah. Because you draw those cards. I mean... Th that's just something that happens. Yeah. So you, you don't yeah. draw them one by one. No. I mean, you see all three, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a dud on top, right? But... But then, you know, Kurt doesn't really care about his life total either. No, he doesn't. So, like, if you have to cast a thought season, you got a 1 1 token. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I thought season myself one time. I do it all the time. I play, I play, I play Legacy. I play Legacy Reanimator. Uh, I thought sees myself all well, the time. Well, I thought sees my own Liliana the Veil out of hand once. Why? Uh, to kill my Goyf to make it lethal. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel about Search for a Scan, a trigger, miss the trigger, draw, a card touches the hand, two cards in hand, and rigor. Ariel, do you wait, 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 wait. What's the question? How do you feel about Search Rest Canna Trigger? You miss a trigger, you you draw, a card touches the hand, two cards in hand at regular REL. Do you let him loot? Uh, no. I do not let him loot. A search is not a loot. It's a... I mean, it, 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 it's you, a weird you're, you're looking. One. You're looking at the top card, and you're deciding to put it in your graveyard or not. There's... The storm count start when I play land. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. We can pretend, though. Did he just reveal a Thoughtseize again? Mm -hmm. I don't know if he reveals all these. Yeah, you do. Because, um... Top card. <sighs> yeah, you can't have that one. I mean, he does have Woven Jar. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't... It's not rummaging. No, you can't. It already touched your hand. You're, at no point in Search for Escana is that card going to your hand. It's a uh, Scry... It's a... You're, you're looking at the top card that is deciding... Are you going to draw that card, or are you going to put it in your graveyard? At no point is that card drawn yet. Yeah, it's so a... Um, if he put the card in his hand, then he's drawn it. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird scry one. Yeah. That's the best I, That's the best way I can describe it, honestly. It's a weird Because it's, it's not like replacing. Yeah, it's a... Do you want to keep on top or put it in the graveyard? <laughs> Why on earth did you feature too late? Because we hate you. Billy, you're not here to play. We have no life in the loam decks. Wait... Okay, okay. Um, he made him shuffle. Interesting. I don't think you care about wear and tear. I mean, he is. A, I don't know. Like, like, cause you have a Woden jar. No, he needs to learn how his cards work, right? There's no way. To, there's no way to repair that. You can't say for sure, a hundred percent, which card he is. But if he has one card in his hand, or you have video replay, then you can. Okay, <sighs> sure. Then you can say that was the one card, right? Yeah. But if he has two cards, there's no way for 100% to prove. Billy, can you answer that? Does Storm start at one when you play land? I'll go with, I'll go with, yeah, we'll allow it. So it's your Spyglass. That's fine. Okay. Name. Oh, my God. Can they just draw right now? <laughs> I got stuff to do. I got, I got monsters to hunt. I got beds to sleep in. Why did we put this on? I didn't. I didn't either. Lim Jake. Were, were these people the only ones that are playing? So. <laughs> There's Lopi. That's Lopi smiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so what did the name? I don't know. Um, so I mean, worse. So what? Uh, S Scott could just top deck bridge here too, and that would be funny. It's like Kurt did all this work trying to work like slug through a bridge, but nah, it didn't matter. Uh, isn't Sorcerer's, isn't, um, Sorcerer's Spike Glass on Codex Shredder? I have no idea what he named. Okay. Can you bring up Codex Shredder real quick, Jake? It has other text besides just Mel. It has other text. Yeah, that, that that game wasn't close at all. He didn't have any of the tools to control the top of the other player's deck. 
Yeah, like... He's taking out search for us, can't I? Oh, yeah, the wear and tear. That's fair. Ooh. Oh, baby. I don't know. This matchup just, like, makes me want to fall asleep. I don't know about you, Adam. Yeah, I'm a little a little tired. Yeah, um, so game three. Um, <sighs> are we going to go to time or not? Probably. All right, so how are you guys doing today? Um, we, this is. Kurt should have scooped like 10 minutes before in game one and have a lot more time in game three. Yep. Um. Yeah, like, Kurt just has a lot of... Yeah, I can't imagine this can't, this matchup is not as good for Lantern either, Billy. Any Lantern matchup is exciting. Well, there's a there's a streamer. His name's Canister. He's also playing at the Pro Tour. Um, all he streams and all he plays is Lantern. So I'd highly recommend that, as well as Caleb Schur. If, Thank uh, you, RS Pro 94 for following. Uh, if Sphere Visions got banned, I just quit Modern. I don't think anything is going to get banned. I think things will get unbanned. Let's go, Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, I want to go, Bloodbraid Elf, cascade into Thought Seas. Yeah. And Stoneforge Mystic and Bloodbraid Elf. I don't know about Stoneforge. Why? Oh, God. Because, one, that card is really good. Yeah, but then you have to play Stoneforge Mystic and equipment in your deck. I know. I like my control decks better. I don't want to do that, though. Unbanned Death, right? I thought about that, and then I got called an idiot. Lantern needs to burn their cards so we don't play versus it. I mean that that's reasonable. You know, um, you're always you're not allowed to take you're not allowed to bribe yeah. your opponent, but if you sit down and say, "Hey, do you mind if you go ahead and burn your deck right now?" And you <laughs> said yes. <laughs> Billy rehashing. Talking about modern banning is like talking about modern tears. There's no point. There's clearly tears in modern. We agree Delver's not a tier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice top deck. What do you, what do you top deck? Uh, the Spire to cast the colored spells. How lucky. I get the uh, Dark Slick Shores here. No, Lantern. Oh, how lucky. Wouldn't it be Snoop. Snoop. All right, you get to pronounce that one, Robert. Snoop Vohai. Vu Vu Vuhai. Snoop Vuhai. Does that say Oh hi Mark? Like they don't already thought is just the thought is not is actually not great right now, right? Yeah, I mean it took uh GTT to be uh broken for a while. Wait, was this a one lander? Just cause cards aren't oh, broken. Oh man, this was a one lander by Kurt. Just cause cards aren't broken in modern at the moment, I doubt Watsy will unban a card just to allow Dr. Shine. Man, okay, this is Although was... many, many things are currently viable in modern. Okay, okay, I see. Occasionally what... unbanning and rebanning right, cards. Uh, Scott's game plan is just to uh not let Kurt draw lands. That seems like a completely reasonable plan. I mean Kurt did this to himself. Pump the unbanned green sense. Yeah, I actually think they can they can unban greens on Zenith. It's kind of innocuous. Ah, no. uh, nah, I can keep it. I, I let him keep that one. Yeah, good job, Scott. Remember your uh, trick. Nice. Inventor's Fair. One drives. Tr okay. Go ahead. You can draw that lightning bolt. I don't care. Oh, God. Uh, I don't care about that either. Billy, I'm going to go with results oriented thinking. I think this is Lantern's Control best matchup. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean. Kurt totally didn't get punished by keeping a one lander. I mean, he specced. It is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. I probably discard that four mana card. Nah, I keep it, dude. Dude, if that resolves, though, I win. Maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this game's a joke right now, isn't it? I mean, it's it's more unfortunate. I take that wear terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Wait, um, can you? Oh yeah, it's three, isn't it? Because where is one and Terra is three? Yep. It's more than one. Is Storm a good camera match? Um, dependent on the player. If the player doesn't know what they're doing, no. If they know what they're doing, yeah. It's yeah, fine. it's one of those. 
it, it's hard because it's definitely backup bridge. You can embarrass yourself. <laughs> like Blood Braved Elf, North No Storm we broken. No North Storm for Mister we broken this meta, but I still doubt to be on ban. I think status quo will exist and no change. Yeah, a static quo is not good though. Like if you're a player base, enough of them are complaining that this is just two ships past the night, like I agree with you, Caminos. Um, Mardu has a good lander matchup, so uh, Mardu is tier one. No. Uh, <laughs> Billy, if we're going off statistics, though, Mardu has to be tier one, though, because it had the most trophies in uh, Magic Online last... last. Exile you. Mill. <laughs> like, Kurt's not going to be drawing It's lane. very impressive that you can keep him off lands. Unbanned Prove. Probe. War of Invention. All right, well, you know, that's that's going to be the game. Oh, I, I would not let him have faith this when you um, picked this at. Billy, you're, you're wrong. Tears, tears do exist. Go read any Magic article <sighs> or talk to any professional player. Tears absolutely do exist. He said tears are stupid and bottom, and yet they still exist. They still exist. Burn, Affinity, and he does Shadow Deck. Uh, he needs to tap another blue. Okay, Mox. Uh, he's just going to get another Mill Rock here, probably. I think he's just going to make me cry. Who? Kurt or Scott? Don't let him draw land, Scott. <laughs> Get that out of here. See, now <laughs> this is going to be hard to ke actually keep him off lands. Get that out of here. It also doesn't... <laughs> oh, so unlucky. Make him shuffle his deck with Lantern. <laughs> I mean... You don't care, I feel like. Billy, I can play Merfolk and show up and do well, but that's not a tier one deck. But I could play at a local store and go four oh, four oh, four oh four. Does that make it a tier one deck? So speaking of local stores, so I've grown to learn I hate magic Facebook groups. Scrat is not tier one. Alright, yeah, sure, Billy, you got me. Scrat's tier one. That's top deck. Um, um, so I read, I was some modern is garbage. Yeah. See, Jake, Jake knows what's up. I saw this Facebook group and this guy said he cut path against burn and kept electrolyzing. It's just so I can show him like, what, what does it kill? What? Electrolyze? Go yeah. A goblin guy, dude. You spend three mana. Whoa. And he draw a card. Yeah. But, oh my God. <laughs> Billy, are all decks going to win the Pro Tour? They're all Tier 1. Billy, you're quite miserly lately. It's it's kind of upsetting. I'm worried about you, friend. So on. Billy, what about Amulet Titan? Is Amulet Titan Tier 1? <laughs> you can't say a... <laughs> oh, can... Swans is Tier 3. Hey, uh, 100. What tier is um, uh, troll worship, Billy? <laughs> what about what about what about mono green Belcher? We ah, he gets to land. Hamlet's tier one, obviously. <laughs> swans is in a deck. Oh, <laughs> uh, you just broke Coachella's heart. We have a local. Player we have here. three swans. Oh, play. we have three swans players. We have the largest percentage of swans in our metagame in the world. How does it make you feel? <laughs> Terrible. What's Troll Workshop? Uh, so you play a lot of like uh, tr tr fun things that are just hard, like hexproof creatures, and you play Worship. Oh, Worship. Yeah, Troll Worship. Okay. <laughs> Adam is a local player. Tier one confirmed. Yeah, yep, yeah, tier one. Every deck. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All what right. about Monogreen Belcher? Yeah, tier one. 
Tier one confirmed, dude. If can you bring up Avengers Fairs, Jake? I forget. I forget the last text of it. Does that mean Blue Moon is? <laughs> Robert is so offended right now. He's shaking his fist. Yes, I <laughs> like, Tier zero is great, isn't it? Reprint Alice. I'm with you. Reprint Alice Spirit Guide. Give us fast mana back. Hey guys. Man. <laughs> All right. Is it possible for Kurt to actually win this game? No. Um, hate bears because you actually play interactive magic. Did you recommend build? Oh, baby, let's go! Shut up. Do you recommend me to build storm or hate bears in modern? I don't know. Do you do you like winning and hate yourself at the same time? Or, or I say storm. Do you like if you like winning, play storm. If you like, if you like having fun. You keep that card. You can have thoughts, Zeus. Save your money, just play standard. Yeah, just buy a mono red until they ban Hazard. Emergency ban Hazard. The perfect storm. Standard is not the best format ever. All of you should feel ashamed. You can fail to find. You just get a lantern. Standard is more expensive. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, look, he's dead. I mean, he has actually bolts to answer the Tezzeret. Yeah. <laughs> Just built Mono Blue Tron. Oh, my God. Does Salad have a uh, have a fan? Our friend Steven Seliscar made day two of a modern Star City playing Mono Blue Tron. Really? Yeah. I want to punch him. You should punch him. Does he have big muscles? <laughs> Wait, oh, what is this guy doing? He just loses. I mean... He does, does he, I don't think he knows what Tezzeret does. Does he? <laughs> just point your Tezzeret, friend. <laughs> Model Blue Trot is tier one Adam. Don't don't encourage Salad. Oh, he's got, he still can bolt. I know! He has to bolt right now, otherwise he doesn't have priority. Alright, untap, kill you. Why? <laughs> Why? Just just kill him. <laughs> Why? I'm done. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter, kid. It doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. Tezzeret, you. I don't know anything about Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Look for his article next week on Top Deck. He didn't know what it did. All right, well, feel free to stay in chat. Uh, Rob will stick around and answer questions because he hates his life. And Billy literally sits in the same chair 24 hours a day. I don't know anything about Storm. So, Billy is a Storm master. Yeah, he's a Storm expert. If you like to, if you like to, that's, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I do know more than you. <laughs> about Storm. So, I'd just like to give a shout out to young William Caminos. If any of you guys would like his deck list, he's been on he's on Star City Games website in the uh <laughs> I don't understand. Does does John Snow know a lot? I don't understand. Billy was the guy that what was his name? Logan something? That, Logan Mize? Yeah, that Billy Caminos is the is Gather the guy me, that G Billy Caminos You're in their highlights, Billy. You're a top deck. You're a top deck superstar. You know you're what? Star City Billy highlights. Caminos made Logan Mice quit Magic. Yeah, that kid quit. How do you feel about yourself? I haven't seen him play since that open, Billy. Billy also had a feature match against Lauren Scum Nolan. How's he scum? Logan Mice had a kid. No. So what you're saying is Billy made him have a kid it, to quit Magic. To quit Magic. He needed an excuse. It's like, well. Oh no, he got a baby. Top eight the Invitational, April 2016. Yeah, I don't math. Do you at least know what format t t t t TSP isn't playing? <laughs> what? <laughs> <It's> TSP. <laughs> t it's taps. No. The epic storm. Yeah, Jay, can you stop fangirling over Logan Mize? Can we fangirl over Billy? Billy, where can we read about your deck lists? <laughs> I like that teaspoon. 
All right, well, I give up. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, I'm out of here, boys. Um, See ya. If you, if you like, you can tune in tomorrow for some more hot modern action at Top Deck Productions. Otherwise, see you guys next Thursday. Thanks.